Welcome to this video tutorial for DT Register 2.7 uh, payment management. Within this video, we will show you how to set up your payment options for your events. You can see I'm already logged into the back end of Joomla and I'm on the payment options area. Uh, I can get to that in two ways either from the components menu, DT Register, pay options or from uh, the control panel, the DT Register control panel, I can click the Pay Options button and get here as well. Uh, within here, you will see after you install, you will have one option already there called Default Payment Options. Uh, this is something that uh, you can use or you can edit. Uh, well, you'll of course need to edit it, but uh, you can delete it if you don't want it at all or just start over that's totally up to you the way the payment options work now is uh, in particular compared to older versions of DT register uh, before you would set up all your payment settings within the configuration area that is no longer there uh, and then within each event you could set up payment options again unique to that event now it's different and functions more along the lines of our categories or locations to where you set up that item and then within the event you select the, the option that you want to use. So here I'm going to click on default payment options and we can look and you can see uh, for those that have used DT Register before this will look uh, familiar. You have the, uh, for the most part at least, uh, you have the payment option name at the top which is uh, just the name that you're going to give uh, for this set of payment details because you can set up as many payment option setups as you want so this name is not displayed anywhere except the back end for for your own use and keep in mind you have tool tips for everything so you can easily uh, remind yourself of anything that uh, as far as what each item is then you have a default currency for each payment option and the currency separator which is going to be a dot or a comma. And then you have a, uh, in your general payment options, you have a live or test mode setting. Uh, in older versions you had live or test mode for each payment type, you know, for authorized.net, PayPal, so forth, so on. Now there's one global live or test mode setting, so if you put it to test mode then all of your payment options are in test mode. Uh, here you'll use a multi select to pick what payment options you want to use. Uh, that would be done with control click or on a uh, on Windows and then on a Mac it would be a command click and so you can click and select multiple items or deselect other items and then um, go and input the account information for each item uh, according to whatever your information is and you can see here <clears throat> you do have some some notes over to the side for most of the payment options that gives you additional instruction to make sure you set things up correctly uh, for example Google checkout and PayPal there are some items that you need to make sure you configure correctly in your account so it works correctly in DT register you'll see <clears throat> you also have uh, one new payment option in 2.7 that was not there previously which is Sage so just uh, pinpointing that as a new option there then down here at the bottom you have the pay later options which uh, previously you had three pay later options that uh, you could change the text in the language file now you can change them right here within the settings uh, the text is saved within the database, not in the language file. You can also add or remove options. So I could say, I could change pay at the door, for example, to pay on location. Or it could be something completely different. Mail-in payment could be um, uh, invoice me. Whatever you want them to be is totally up to you. And then you could deselect an item if you don't want to use it for that event or you can remove if you don't want it at all 
if you want a fourth option or a fifth option and so forth so on you click the add more button and there you go and you can select that uh, if you decide you don't need that anymore you can remove it by clicking the remove link uh, so there are that's how you administrate the pay later options now uh, when you're done just click the save button at the top um, you also see you have a link here on the side to make your payment options default uh, you want to make sure you have one of your options marked as a default which will show the star icon uh, then you can come in here and you can select uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create another set of payment options real quick um, let's see let's say I have some events in Australia <clears throat> so I want to set up uh, some Australian defaults and I'm going to set that for eWay and PayPal and I'm not going to mess with any of those other settings right now I'll go ahead and save it so now I have a Australian payments option so anytime I create an event that needs those options I would just select it I'm going to show you where that is done here real quick within the events area When you go to an event, whether you're editing or creating, on the Discounts and Fees tab, the first thing you'll see is Select Payment Configuration. And here, all of your payment options that you have created will show up right here. Um, and you, whichever one is marked as the default is what will show up as already selected in this list when you create a new event. Uh, so pick your, your payment setting save and uh, you'll be you'll be all set for that event I one other item to point out here I'm going to go to the control panel permissions uh, in this permissions area which there is a video on permissions but just to, to make a quick note um, here you have create pay options and edit pay options uh, anybody that you want to have access to do that you want to make sure you give them permission to do so here uh, or if you don't want them permission to do so then uh, just deselect it so just uh, making sure you're aware of that that can be done per group or per user see the permissions video for more information on that uh, if you have any other questions or need additional help feel free to log a support ticket or hit us up in the forums thank you very much